Hey guys and welcome to today's video and this is the unboxing of Magnus the Red himself. So the first Games Workshop Primark model that we've seen. So here's the box, it's a large box. If you go back to my unboxing of my Thousand Sons Marines, you'd have seen some introduction and size comparison of the box. Um, it's pretty big. And here we go, into the box. So it comes in a tray style box and on the top we have the instruction manual for Magnus himself in a full colour which is very nice to see and then below that we have the plastic. So we'll skim through the instruction manual first. So you can see it's a computer generated um, instruction manual and colour coded so blue components are those that you haven't done or the um, parts that are mostly assembled um, from previous stages and yellow indicates um, some gluing locations. It's a pretty big kit but it's quite static, I was quite disappointed with the static nature of the model. It kind of goes together one way, um, you get a couple of mini options on the weapon but other than that it does just uh, click together or glue together in only one kind of format so everyone's Magnuses on the battlefield will look almost identical. And as standard with uh, instruction manuals these days from Games Workshop we do get a snippet of his rules uh, and his statistics. Being a Primark they are pretty hench. And on the back we've got a nice little bit of graphical art just to complete the instruction manual. So moving on to the plastics then. It's only three sprues um, for a, quite an expensive model. I think that's quite limited, but um, as I said, it's not very poseable. So you end up with quite a lot of prefabricated parts, like the legs are uh, all in one section pretty much, other than some armor and a toe. And towards the end of the video I've got some high res pictures so you can have a look through the sprues themselves. Pause the video, have a look at the parts. It's quite well cast, um, it's uh, full of detail. But for a very powerful model, I mean he's 650 points, so I mean you're not going to probably see too many of those in a game below 2000 points. Um, or, you know, more likely in Apocalypse style gaming. But with the uh, resurgence of um, Reboot Gilliman these days, uh, which is the next Primark that's just been released, you may see him a bit more often. Um, just comparing sizes there of the wings against the regular infantry Thousand Sons model, you can see that the wings are you know, four or five times the size of a regular model. And the final sprue here just contains some of the head parts and some of the more decorative components. And his large headpiece and his lots of hair. So looking at the um, sprues then, so I'll just uh, go quiet as you can uh, pause and peruse the sprues themselves.
So that ends this pretty short video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching all the parts and see if you want to buy the model yourself. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like, comment, uh, subscribe. Let us know what you think of the model and I'll uh, catch you on the next video.